Hello. Uh, well, on the occasion of the 8th of March, we wanted to create an, a space for reflection and collective debate to continue contributing elements to our struggle that is more necessary than ever in our societies. So, well, welcome, Josette. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, well, I would like to start uh, asking you, uh, how do you understand the role of feminism in a transformation of the economy? Okay, well, first of all, women are responsible for a large part of the economy, but it is invisible because it is unpaid, but uh, essential for the pro proper functioning of the economy. As far as a long time and still today in many countries, women uh, were kept away from the political and economic functioning of a society. Their participation was reduced to the family sphere. The lack of means of contraception forced them to have many children, uh, putting them uh, in a survival at risk. Advances in health, access to knowledge and the results of feminist struggles enabled women to become leading agents of social change. It can be said that they carry the renewal of the imagination, especially in their relationship to power and in what they consider essential. They have a relationship to the preservation of life that inspires their choices. Furthermore, uh, by asking men to change themselves and to abandon attitudes of violence against women, children and people in general, they induce a revision of uh, what uh, is considered uh, that as natural, namely competition and hierarchy. So it is no coincidence that the question of care is now taken into account in the range of needs. Even if, as the pandemic has shown, women are the ones who are on the front line, while on TV sets the male experts make the news and take the decisions. So, that's my vision of that. Thank you. Yeah, indeed, feminism is a fundamental contribution to organize the, the transformation of the economy. And I think this is demonstrated uh, in the struggles that women are carrying out all over the world, not only this uh, 8th of March, but in their daily life, uh, mm -hmm. resisting a, a this heteropatriarchal and racist system. So uh, another question I, I would like to ask you is uh, if you would like to tell us uh, about any personal experience in which being a woman uh, has been a determining factor for you, either in your personal life or in the, in the work environment or in activism spaces. My witness will be both, because uh, at the same time I was writing my master thesis, I was pregnant. And then I became aware that there were few suitable uh, solutions for child care when you were a woman wanting to work. At that time, there were groups of parents uh, who, could, um, who could see that uh, it was uh, um, lacking. And so they created uh, uh, what was called uh, wild crashes because they were out of law. And in 1981, there was a, um, a law who uh, allowed uh, to create those, ki those kind of uh, uh, daycare centers so that um, uh, people could get organized by themselves under the law. Then I was uh, recruited by the Federation of, uh, of this crash parental to sensitize the the doctors and um, the people, the political uh, agent, to uh, the the interest they could have to this uh, associative uh, uh, place, 
which were ruled by uh, the professional and the parents together. It has influenced a lot uh, the national poli policy of uh, daycare centers. Instead of big uh, establishment, big uh, structure, they, uh, then uh, we uh, had a little structure very near to the, the inhabitants with only about 20 uh, children. And it has, at the same time, uh, influenced pretty much the implication of, of fathers in the taking care of the young children and the, the load <laughs> in, in the houses, even though it was not that much uh, really uh, realized, but it, uh, it has then uh, put it in front of the discussion. So at that time, with others and with other kind of structure, we began the promotion of uh, solidarity economy in France. Parental uh, crash were considered as mo model of uh, self-organization from uh, with a citizen, together with uh, public policy, and that's how I got involved in the movement for solidarity economy quite a long time ago, because my son is now 37. So you can see that uh, I'm uh, one of the oldest in that. <laughs> well, uh, finally, I, I would like to make a reflection on how young people today are positioning themselves uh, at the forefront of these struggles and how the new generations are uh, showing that uh, they also want want to fight for fighter and equal societies so i would like to to ask you what inspiring word or phrase uh, you would say to a young wo woman to encourage her to keep fighting and working for a social transformation well just uh, i would say just trust yourself Stay alert and searching and feed your sorority. Be very friendly with your, uh, with the women around. Not in me with men, but very, very keen at having them understand what you mean by equality. Thank you very much. <laughs>